Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So we're moving the two in, 800 here. Uh, I got the 800 up here. I'll show you that in a sec, but we got this all painted up. It's nice red, ready to rock. Make the rest of it look like crap. But anyways, I needed something on it, but ooh, that's nice paint. That's trim clad paint, believe it or not. International Harvester Red or something, I think it was, but anyways. So we're switching tractors. Uh, we, uh, we got the 800 up here. Man, oh man, it was really banging something I don't know what's going on here. Something inside is not in good shape. But anyways, as you can see, I got a nice paint job on the uh, valve cover there. I had it off and adjusted all the valves, thinking it was a valve. It's still banging. We'll show you that in a second here. It's really loud over here, though. So I don't know if something's just... I see this has been gobbed up here. So that might have holes in it. Maybe it's leaking out of there, making it sound like it's, it's ticking. But we'll listen to that in a sec. Anyways, I'm gonna go install this rod and we'll see if the two end will fire up and move out for us. So we got the battery in, the gas is hooked on, uh, clutch rod's on. I didn't tighten that jam knot up yet though, but uh, should be good. I think we're good. Um, okay, it's gonna be really cold on the butt. Oh yeah. Okay, it's gonna be loud if it starts. end was a lot faster until we pulled the Sherman out of it. <laughs> Anyways, just, uh, I had a third gear there and actually it whipped along pretty good. Made Junior run, so mm. hey, what the heck, how fast you need to go? Anyways, uh, so yeah, this one, more fun. <laughs> more fun. Uh, it's definitely got some kind of hammering going on there. Very neutral, the weird, weird column shifting, whatever you call them things. Weird. All right, let's fire it up. And uh, I could really hear it coming kind of about here. So I don't know if it's got a bad wrist pin in there or something. What we're eventually gonna do is of course take all this off again, take out the valve train, all the lifter rods and stuff, and then pull the head off and we'll have a look at the pistons and, and everything in there and see what's going on. Check the head gasket is probably fine, but uh, I'll have to get a kit for it, I guess. Um, this could be something simple like an exhaust leak, like I can see a little bit right there. There's a little bit right there. But do you want to keep filming here, Dilly? I say hi at least. I think you're rude. Mm. Mm. Okay, you stay there. We got a new water gauge for it. Got to replace that. Remember we do the head stuff, not till till then. But um, it was. Uh, not working, I guess, on this. I never got any heat on the, on the gauge, so unfortunately, we're gonna be going away from their nice little red, green, red gauge on this to the numbers, but let's see if I can even get up on this. This seat's like way too close for me. Okay, we should be good. And some wires hole hooked it up with that key switch on. I don't like that. You're supposed to have the push button here for whir, whir, whir. which should be a lot safer. But anyways. <laughs>
itself, which means big time coming apart. Oh boy, that doesn't sound like fun. Anyways, let's put her in the container for now. Put the work on later. Crunchy, I gotta get in further and get that motor. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Fun stuff. Well, there we go. Just a shorty today. I just wanted to show you moving that two in. And actually, that clutch is much nicer now with that new rod. Big difference. So, uh, with that 800, whew, something is ticking and banging on that, but we'll get into her and have a look. Let's hope it's not a rod. I have a feeling that some some point they might have ran it too low on oil, maybe cooked a rod bearing or something, or the end of the rod might be all, I don't know. It sounds more tinny sounding, so I don't know. Uh, but we'll get into her and see if we gotta start pulling pistons to see what the heck's going on. I guess we'll have to do that, so. Anyways, that's it for today, just a little quickie. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.